Hey guys, it's Lily, and today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup collection, and I'm not really going to film a long intro because I don't feel like editing a long video. So, let's get into my makeup collection. Okay, so over here I have my palettes that I use the most. So, I have the Coastal Scents Warm 80 palette, and then I have the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Subculture palette from Anastasia, and the Modern Renaissance. Then in the back, I have this Yes to My Cellar Water and some cotton balls. Then over here, I have this box that holds Q-tips. Then in here, I have my foundation brushes and my blush brushes and some beauty blenders. I have seven different MAC lip glosses. These are cream sheens and these, but this is a cream sheen, but it's sparkly, so I just put it with the dad glosses. Then I have a NYX lipstick, two lip creams, liquid suede and liquid lingerie. Then back here I have some kind of lash serum that I did. Then I have my impressions mirror. Then I just have this side, another one of these things. So I have four MAC lipsticks, this Too Faced liquid lipstick, Wet n Wild, and a Bite Lush lip tint and a lipstick. I have two of these peaches and cream lipsticks. And then I have two melted lipsticks, one chocolate and just a regular one. Then I have little cosmetic wedges and rounds. Then I have my bronzer brushes and my highlighter brushes. Okay, so now over here I have a few more of eye brushes. So this has spoolies to concealer brushes to all kinds of different things. I have all my headbands in there. This Dirty Works facial mist. And then I have this Radiance Cream from Dirty Works. Um, this little like kabuki brush thing. Oil absorbing sheets, clear cell, acne pad things. Then this Equate Dual Power Moisturizer. Then back here I have a hand sanitizer and this thing that just I wipe all my brushes on. Then over here I have my lip liners. So first I have three different NYX ones. This is the, these three are suede and this is just a regular one. And then I have this steel one, the steel stay all day. Three elf ones and then this fake Cali one I never use. Okay, so pretty much all of these are filled with makeup <sighs> I have a problem I swear <laughs> okay so this is my first drawer so first I have these wipes and they're just coconut almond then I have this pearlescence white charcoal mattifying mist and set spray then I have the matte and natural wet n wild sprays a Mario Badesco spray all nighter matte fix plus and then back here I have a tart one and an elf one then I have more primers. So over here I have the NYX Honey Do Me Up. Then I have a few lip primers, eye primers, and then I have this NYX Glitter Primer that just came in a set. Then I organize my primers by mattifying and poreless and then hydrating and luminous. So I have the Baby Skin, this primer perfecting something from Heart Candy, Professional, Matte One from Wet n Wild, the Elf, Poreless primer. Then I have a few of the droppers. So two are from Hard Candy. It's the Turn Me Radiant, Turn Me Bronze. And then I have this Cherim Oil one, and it's in the shade Gold Standard. Then I have this Becca Backlight, the Wet n Wild Dewy Lumino, whatever it's called. Then I have the Elf Hydrating Primer. Okay, on to my favorite part of my makeup collection, probably my foundation. First off, I have three Maybelline Fit Me's. This e.l.f. one and then two Wet n Wild ones and then the Super Stay by Maybelline. Then over here I have more high end or more expensive ones. I have the Steel Stay All Day foundation. I like this foundation one you want to look like you have nothing on. Then I have the Anastasia Stick Foundation which is very surprising that I found this in my shade. Then I have the Healthy Elixir from CoverGirl, the Rommel Stay Matte Foundation, two Kat Von D's, and the Revlon Color Stay. Then over here I have some BB creams and also that color correcting palette. So I have this BB cream that I made, two Tarte Foundation samples, this CoverGirl one, two e.l.f. ones, this Maybelline one, and then a Pond's Luminous one, which I'm excited to use for winter because it's really light for me right now. Okay, on the concealers and contour and all that. So first, I have this Ready, Set, Gorgeous from CoverGirl. I have Revolution, Estee Lauder, Maybelline, 
hard candy. Wrap on the, the Tarte Shape Tape, which I've just now gotten. This Anastasia Stick Foundation, just like a really light shade. This Wet n Wild little concealer. Another stick foundation and a contour shade. The Wet n Wild contour stick and the Maybelline foundation stick. Then back here I have two liquid illuminators. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, the Fit Me Press Powder, and the Fit Me Loose Powder. Okay, so now I have highlighter. So this is a Revolution one, a Maybelline Master Chrome, this NYX one, two Wet n Wilds, this MAC one, which is so pretty and I love it. And then I have this little sample size from Becca and it's just an opal. Then I have a few contours. Um, most of my contours are in palettes. But my single ones I have is the Wet n Wild, this Elf one, this Estee Lauder one, and the Hula bronzer from Benefit. Then over here I have this Anastasia Blush Trio, an Estee Lauder one, two Elf ones, the Milani Luminoso, and a Becca one is back there. Now on to my palette drawer. So I first have this Too Faced Cocoa Contour kit, which is so good. I use this like every day now. And then I have this Anastasia Cream Contour kit. The Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit, which is actually really pretty. I was debating on getting this or not just because it had more adventurous colors in it, but I really like it. And then I have the Sun Dip Glow Kit from Anastasia. Then I have the Blush and Bronzer Palette from e.l.f. A few different highlight and contour palettes back right there in Ulta and a Tarte. Then I have Single Eyeshadows, Eyeliners, and Brow Products. So I have a lot more single eyeshadows than I did last time. So I have a bunch of Estee Lauder ones. And then I have some Anastasia, more Estee Lauder Lancome, Elf ones, a CoverGirl single eyeshadow, this L'Oreal Infallible single eyeshadow, which is just like pressed glitter. Then I have this Elf like smudge pot thing, some NYX glitters in the shade Gold, Copper, and ruby then i have this sugar addict little pigment in here first off i have this covergirl one i have this little brush for my maybelline eye studio one then i have this wet n wild h2o proof the mega liner from wet n wild mac studio wet n wild eye coal this wet n wild 24 hour one then i have a few like jumbo eye pencils and stuff i have this sugar one and then i have estee lauder this next one in milk, and then this one in yogurt. Then I have a purple eyeliner from Alme, CoverGirl, and then I have this Beauty Concepts one, and then Elf one. Then I have my brow product. So I have this Naked Basics palette, which I only use the brown and black shade in it. Then I have this Anastasia Dip Brow, the Anastasia Brow Wiz, the Elf Brow Pencil. This is the only brow pencil I will use. Then I have two Great Lash Clear Mascaras for brows. Then this brow and lash gel from e.l.f. Oh, and also this Ulta brow tint. Then I have more eyeshadow. So I have this NYX Los Angeles palette. This NYX Brights palette, which is new. And then I have the Tarte Land Bloom some palette from TJ Maxx. This one from Icing. The Naked 3, which has been through a lot. <laughs> and then this Ulta palette. Two other TJ Maxx palettes. The Model Zone palette. This little e.l.f. palette, which is actually really, really good, really creamy. And then I have an Elme palette, a Hard Candy palette, and a few e.l.f. ones back there. Some tape, lash glue, and lashes are in the back. And then as far as mascaras, I'm just going to speed this up. two lash curlers and the unique fiber lash mascara then in here i keep a few other lip products i have glosses and chapsticks and then lip scrubs and this like shimmering bottle <laughs> shimmering body oil i have lipstick that i don't use back there the anastasia lip palette for anything then i have estee lauder and wet and wild clinique sleek broadway i have some anastasia then I have a few from TJ Maxx, the Max Studio one. I have a few lip toppers 
two regular just glosses and two plumpers. So I hope you guys liked. My makeup collection is definitely probably doubled or maybe tripled its size. Anyways, make sure to follow my new Instagram account. I got one last week and it will be down below. So make sure to follow me there to see what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> that sounded creepy. Anyways, I hope you have a fabulous day or night or afternoon and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.